Hi, my name is Matt Haynes, and I'm a trial lawyer with the law firm of Lytle, Ryder, Smith, Ivy, and Fronrath. And I just want to take a minute today to tell you what it's like to serve on a jury in Florida. Now, aside from military service, the only time our government summons us from our families and our jobs and our lives is when we get served to appear for jury duty. All right, so what's it like? After you get your summons, you're going to go to the courthouse. And when you get to the courthouse, they're going to put you in a room with other prospective jurors. Sometimes they'll show you a video about what jury service is like, and you'll probably have to take an oath to tell the truth when you get up to the courtroom. At some point, you'll be gathered with about 30 other random jurors and brought up to a random courtroom. There, you'll see that the judge and all the attorneys are facing you. The judge will once again put everyone under oath and make them promise that they're going to swear to tell the truth when answering everybody's questions. Now first, the judge will ask basic questions about your background, what type of work you do, whether or not you're married, and whether or not you've ever served as a juror before. Now after he's done, each of the attorneys is going to ask you questions. Now these questions will be a little more in depth. They'll ask you more about what type of work you do, what types of work your children do. But more importantly, what they're going to do is going to ask you about how you feel about certain issues. How do you feel about lawsuits? How do you feel about injuries? Have you or a loved one ever gotten hurt in an accident or been injured or been involved with the court season whatsoever? You have to remember that, although it might be a little nerve-wracking talking in front of a bunch of strangers, we're all in the same boat. And when you go through to the courthouse, you have to go through a metal detector. They make sure you don't have any knives, uh, they make sure you don't have any weapons. But one thing they, they can't take away from you at the courthouse are your feelings and your experiences. Because your feelings and your experiences are yours. And all you need to do when answering the attorney's questions is just tell us what's true for you. Now at some point after this process you might get selected to sit on the actual jury. In that case what happens first is again you have to give an oath that you're going to try the case true and correct to the best of your knowledge and then the the attorneys for each side will kind of give you a summary of their case that's called an opening statement. After that You'll see witnesses testifying, and you'll also be given documents and photographs to consider when you're evaluating the case. After all that's done, uh, the judge is going to read you some instructions and send you back to the jury room to fill out something called a verdict form. And then working together and talking about all your combined experiences and feelings through the trial, you'll come to a unanimous verdict. Once that is done, you knock on the door, and then you come out, <clears throat> and the judge will read the verdict. I've been trying cases for decades, and I find time after time that when people come for jury service, they're a little hesitant and a little skeptical. But by the end of the process, they find it was one of the most rewarding and interesting experiences in their lives. I hope this helps. Again, my name is Matt Haynes. Uh, if you have any questions or comments or there's anything we can help you with, feel free to call me at 561-820-2257 or you can email me at mhaines at Have a great day.